Hey Questioners, what's up, and welcome to episode 24 of Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. Now, in the last episode, we finished with the little side quests that involve Amos. He is now part of our party. And... Back... Yeah, look at that. Now... Um... Okay, before I want to do... Before I want to warp and get him a vocation, because I totally forgot about that before starting the episode. Um, we are heading to our next destination. So we're heading south of Scrimsley. Kill these guys real quick. In my original game, I actually used Amos for a while, but this one I'm going to keep Nevin in the party. So, from Scrimsley, it's really not that far at all. You sail south and to the right. Now, you'll see this place here, and it's fancy and all. You'll see a mermaid. But we can't do anything there yet, so that'll be story much later on. Carver's still doing his own thing. Aw, oh, what? You jerks. At least they're weak. So, all I have to do is make land here, which, as you can see on the map, as of the point where you're at now, once pretty much Murdoch is beaten and you unlock all trade as Abbey, um, this circle of body of water is the only place you can explore. You can't really branch out yet, so, as you can see, you still have a lot more to explore. Anyways, fortunately, the next town is just a little ways up. Oh, oh I'm wrong, gotta cross the bridge first. You know, doing this just before the episode, you think that I'd be more ready, but I'm not. How inconvenient is my memory. So, but it's not far. The monster battles make it seem like it's far. Sweet. Nevin's finally 20. Alright, just a little ways north, and bam. We are in our boat. Now, like I said, when I was leveling a little bit, at one point in the previous episodes, um, I had already stopped by and witnessed a scene here, in which you see a blue outfitted warrior carrying a coffin. So... Love fighting hate monsters. The Arkbull army wants you, King Claymore. Yeah, this this place is all about fighting. The way of the tough, so. Yep. Hmm. So before I do anything, let's talk to a few uh, soldiers and see what they got. See, I've already grinded. I don't need to do any more training for the battles ahead. There are a few battles in here before we can progress. So, but for now I'm just gonna locate here's the church. No, here's the church. Granny, there will always be monsters. Gotta learn that. Wait. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, why are there two? Okay, I'm pretty sure that guy there fights you, so... Let's see if I can upgrade our weapons. No... Ooh... Battle Axe is good. Why, yes. Hmm, should I get... Either weapons or where's the armor shop? Looks like the mountain path is where I'm gonna be wanna going. 
where I'm gonna be wanna going. Yep, so, uh, since I can't find the armor shop, it's the weapons I'll be upgrading. So, I'm gonna need a battle axe for Roto. Yeah, go ahead. And now let's get another one for Carver. Wait, no. That's worse than what he has. Okay, I guess I'm good for now then, actually. So, since everybody's healed up, looks like I'm getting ready for a showdown throwdown. And here's the first of the series of fights here. Now, this guy's got 1,300 HP, which isn't bad. So... I'm going to start off with some saps and kabuff. Let's see. He doesn't have kabuff. So I... will just fight. Guess I'll just continue going all out. Well, Nevin focuses on healing. For the most part, they just have physical attacks. The guys will be fighting here, so... Like, pretty much in all of these fights... He will be using... Uh, Kabuff and the likes. Let's try... Frizzle. That's pretty good. I think we're good for now, so let's get a fizzle. Actually, no. Wrong move. Cover's got too much defense for this guy. Whoops. I don't much care for what she does. There's one guy down. Thank you kindly. All it took was a beating. Oh, this is the armor shop. I sold the chest. I mean, they thought it was, um... You know. Not. Let's see. This is actually useful for Millie. This is good for Nevin. And can anyone use the Iron Mask? Carver came and I can't afford it. I gotta sell something. I gotta sell my body. I gotta sell my body. Ow! Arm. Okay. Okay, I gotta move this. Okay, good for now. Um. 
Yeah, everyone's stance is still pretty good. I don't need to go anywhere. Okay, he's kind of cocky. But I'm going to have to fight him in a little bit, so... Well, the viewer hasn't, so I'll say no. What's the point of getting back here? <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> Good thing she didn't just see me do that. Well, you'd probably all die. It's a pretty obvious question. You know, like... Hmm. Sweet. Okay. This arm thing's really hurting me. You're yeah, right, I'm gonna beat up your dad. Okay, now let's get to the top of this castle before talking to this barb. Maybe he hasn't encountered me. What do you think of that, bub? Let's talk to these two fine gentlemen. Okay, now these two guys... Uh, I'm pretty sure... Brock, he's got like 1,200 HP, Brick is 1,300, and Brock does all the defensive stuff, so we're going to kill him first. I'm going to take Carver off of crazy tactics so he can actually work with us. So, we get Brock. Buff and Frizzle. Hey, it's rude. I just used that move. So yeah, Brick will try to use Kasap to negate the uh, buff, but still, these guys take the physical attacks. So, it's nothing too bad. If I keep healing... Um, his oomph shouldn't pose too much of a threat. I just have to keep the buff up. I keep healing with him and every chance. Creeper cheaper defends. The buff is a beautiful thing, isn't it? Rock on, now we can focus on uh, killing this sucker. I'm gonna miss the combo attacks from 9 when you're playing through these older ones. Oh, that's why there's so much damage. He used to double up also. So yeah, there's that.
Fantastic. Well, there's those chumps beating. Beating. Beaten. Now that I've earned my right to continue, I will do so on the next episode. So, catch you then. Later, guys.